Hello, Amy here again. Today I will teach you how to use Puppet Motherboard RP2040 installation clipper tutorial. Let's open the website and for reference. And now let us do some introduce preparation. This is Puppet Motherboard, a Raspberry Pi CM4 board. Yes, a a Wi-Fi connector, SD card, yes, a jumper cup, this is very important, okay, one USB flash disk, yes, a Type C USB cable, okay, before we start, we will install the wrap Raspberry Pi CM4 on the Puppet motherboard. Yes, over here. Yes, please align it with the whole position. Otherwise, it will not be installed. Okay, let's install this into the Puppet board. Yes, now it's okay. Yes, very good. Let's continue. Okay, then now we will insert this jumper cap over here. Yes, it's boot jumper here. And yes, let's insert here. It's okay. Okay, now. Yes. And then the dial switch is off by default, so we need to push the dial switch 1, 2, 3, 4 to up, up to on, okay? But 5 and 6 can't be at the same time with 1, 2, 3, 4 on. Please remember it. Yes, that is very important. After that, we begin to insert the SD card into the USB stick. Yes, it's over there. And then we need to connect it to the computer. Okay, now we did it. Okay. Start installing firmware. Our CM4 doesn't have eMMC, so we need to go up to flashing system. So we need to click the missile burning system yes then we need to choose download okay yes okay download for windows we need to install this but before i have installed so this time i not i not to do again okay let's return to this so we can reference over there yes okay now we need to choose yes this one and uh, yes this one okay this one yes okay yes click okay we need to choose this one yes here we we can change at this one and open ssh service and pi account cannot be changed but we can set password yes and configure wi-fi if you need wi-fi then you can choose this okay you can select language yes okay save and uh, writing yes click yes okay this will cost uh, a cup of coffee time, so please enjoy your afternoon tea when this flashing system. Yes. After flashing successful, a USB flash disk boot will pop up. Yes, now it's here. Continue. Okay, let's find the fail. Okay, 
wait a minute. Here I have some arrow. My desk boot need a restart again. Yes, now cancel. Yes, here it is. We find the config text. Yes, over there. Then we need to go there. Yes, we need to copy these two lines of configuration. Okay, copy, and then it's above pi four. Yes, we can find the pi four. Yes, over there we can yes paste it and save it. Okay. Yes, save. Okay, the preparatory work is completed. Now you can install the SD card into the puppet and power it on. Please note here that the power supply will be sufficient when you insert it into the back of the host. The power supply in front of the host is insufficient. And it often cannot be connected. I have tested this rapidly for several times, but it can't work. Okay, next we will install Clipper RPI MCU. Now we have need the Type C USB to connect the computer. Yes. Okay, now is power on. Okay, now, yes, we can do the install Clipper MCU. Okay, now, first, we need to use the terminal tool to connect to your motherboard SSH. So now we need to go to find the mobile store. Yes, open the mobile store and click the session, and then. Click the SSH and enter the host name Maysell OS. Yes, and enter the account number Pi. Yes, okay. Accept. Yes, now we need to write down the password. This is well not sure. Okay, enter. Yes. Cancel. Okay. Now we can go to the our website. Yes. We need to copy this. Yes. And then paste it. And okay. Okay. So do your password again. Yes. Again, we will write down our password, but it is not sharing. Okay, now we can do that. Copy the comment again. Okay, paste it here. Okay. Yes, now it's work. And then do the next one. Configure confirm will. Yes. Okay. Okay. Pop up the window. We need to use the up and down key to select per. Linux process. Yes, enter. And then press Q and Y to proceed. And then we need go to there and copy. Yes. Okay, now we will wait. Wait a few minutes. After the installation is successful, we will install Clipper for our Raspberry Pi 2040. Yes. Let's wait. Okay. Wait. It may take maybe one minute okay now it's successful yes okay now 
we will go there. Yes, company the firmware for RP2040. Yes, we need up and down key to select the make menu config and enter this. And the yes pop up the window and we need to choose RP2040. Yes, enter confirm. And then we choose UARTO GPIO. Yes, for the communication interface. Press Q and Y. Yes, save it. F, yes, to company. And Clipper WF2, where copy to the RPI the R2. So wait after the installing successful. Let's wait. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, now it's success. Let's click Clipper. Out, fill. Then we will find the Clipper the UF2. Okay, now let's find the RPI gun R2. Yes, over there. Let's open it. And then we need to copy, pour this. Clipper the UF2 to this RPI gun R2. Yes. Then it will automatically install the firmware. Now we can remove the boot jumper cap now. Yes. For we have successfully installed all the firmware. Yes. Now we can remove the boot jumper cap. Next, we can open the browser Maisel. Yes, we need to configure Clipper and we need to create a new printer, the CFG. Yes, this is printer, the CFG. Yes, like this, create. Yes, open it and then we need Go back to the website and copy those comments and paste it in the printer, the CFG. Yes, save and restart. Then, other configurations are set by yourself. And we can also, yes, put this in there and save and restart. Now, Clipper will connect to the successfully yes okay thanks for watching hope it can help you a lot bye see you next time